Bob, we're on to the brown belts already, brother. Let's do it. All right, we got Ben Smith, the first brown belt of the night to approach the mat from Collective Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah, it looks like a few weeks ago, Ben was doing a uh, grappling industry. So it looks like he, his team walked away with some good victories in that as well. Just taking a look at some things here. This should be a good one, man. And Ryan Stark, we got another guy from the vault. Going to see some really, really good stuff here out of Ryan. Tying, tying the string up just to make sure our pants don't fall down in a match. You know, Bob, I, I had a guy's, uh, I had a guy's ass come out in one of my matches one time. I, my guard was too tight. I was choking him. I ended up getting the submission and and I mooned the camera. Oh shit. Yeah, it was it was rough. Back in back in my white belt days. Always keep your <laughs> always keep your drawstring tight, man. Keep your pants on over here with me, Brad. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Oh, no problem. None of that. No, no plumber's cracks over here with me, man. <laughs> oh, man. Out of control. All right. First brown belt match of the night. Let's see some fireworks. I wonder how, I wonder how old these guys are. They kind of look like they're late 20s. What do you think? Yes. I mean, listen, to get, to get the brown belt, I mean, it's no joke. You're not, not getting the brown yeah, belt in, unless you start really, really young, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. It's a process. I mean, you know, anybody who gets to the brown level, brown belt level and the black belt level, it's through dedication and, and, and hard work. And these guys have been doing it for quite a while. Couldn't agree more. So it looks like we have Ben Smith going after Ryan on the bottom. Uh, Ryan looking like he kind of wants yes, some some yes, leg action here. Yes, yes, uh, Lou, we got an yes, outside heel hook. Ooh, what an excellent rollout from Benjamin, though. He was able to get out of that position, free the knee line, which means he's no longer in danger of submission. He's not out of the woods yet. I like Ryan's use of his head. He's able to secure the foot of Ben here and make it so that he's not he's not going to escape as easily. But he, he was able to get out. Very technical battle from these guys. They're, you can tell at the brown belt level, they're using every inch of their body as a weapon. I like this pass from Ryan Stark as well. Man, these guys, such active limbs. Both legs and hands are, are doing some really good fighting here. And the referee set them. And you know, these two guys too, I mean, listen, th these are the guys you see out there, do you think, you know, you don't realize how tough guys like this really are. I mean, you don't pick on guys like this out there. You don't, 160, 155 pounds. And Absolutely no not, man. no clue how they will turn you into a pretzel. I mean, you can see both, it looks to me like both of these guys have cauliflower here, which is a huge red flag Absolutely. if you're looking for trouble at the exactly. bar or something like that. Bob. That is a bad decision. <laughs> I can tell you some good stories about that. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear them, man. We gotta oh, have a beer on that sometime. Yes. All right, looks like Ben kind of going in pretty, pretty hard here. Ryan has a very uh, good methodology for keeping Ben at a distance and he's waiting for a window before he launches an attack. Both of these guys, they're kind of explosive when they need to be. Very tight game from both of them. Nice uh, pass from Ben right there. Smith is looking past the guard too possibly. Yeah, it looks like like he's got a nice side control. He's got got a knee on belly kind of situation. Probably just trying to keep the weight on Mr. Stark there. I don't know what his decision's gonna be as far as how he's gonna escape this situation. But Ben is looking really heavy. I feel like he's waiting for a window of opportunity to move on to a submission, seeing which limb opens itself up to him. He's digging for that right arm. 
but I think he's just trying to stay heavy, keeping that knee on belly situation. Yeah, he really wants that right arm of Ryan Stark, and it looks like he shot a triangle. Um, ben Smith shot that triangle, and I wonder if we're going to get to see uh, him get any further because he needs to com complete this triangle with the legs. That figure four needs to come out if we're going to see this. And Ryan Stark doing an excellent job of matching the hands to mitigate that, that threat. Definitely in a rough position, but he was able to get out. Great job. You know, job with this from level, it's just so awesome to see, like when you see guys in a technique knowing the proper defense to get out of it, and you see that executed, which we saw right there from Stark. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more, Bob. Yeah, Ben Smith has, has a nice kind of head control with the legs here. I. If I was the judges, I, I would really be a fan of how much uh, top side dominance Ben has had here. We haven't had any really successful submission attempts, but I like his positional dominance so far in the match. Fred, talk to me about how at this level uh, it, it, it kind of slows down for you. I'm not talking about the explosiveness, but you know, it kind of in your mind it slows down out there. Yeah, definitely. I, I I couldn't agree more. And like I, what I was saying earlier, right? These guys are using every inch of their body, so they're waiting. Like I need a window that I can get get like a maybe just slide slide one one hand half of my hand in there, so I can turn my hand to open up more space. So I get a fist in there, get the arm in, then I can use some more of my limbs. Right? We're looking for windows that we can just start to exploit. And that's what these guys are doing, just searching for vulnerabilities on each other. Oh, is this a submission only match? Is that what they said? I, I don't think so. Oh, they're having some fun out there yeah. talking about it. <laughs> and that's, I like to see that. I mean, listen, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, everybody wants to win, but everybody wants to have a good time. And, and let's face it, you're out there to get better. You're not just out there to win. These guys are out there to test themselves and to improve. Absolutely. And you know, competing is a skill in its own, Bob. Oh, do we have a, uh, oh, we have a nosebleed from Ryan Stark here. Uh, maybe we'll get a, something to plug that up really quick. <laughs> nice. There we go, Joey Benz right in, right in, right into there with his, with his tail so we can, get this blood stopped and, and get the match continued. Yeah, hopefully we, we get someone to uh, plug that nose, maybe a cotton ball or something news. like that. So I don't know what you're going to do for that. Someone got a napkin. Give me some toilet paper. I'd throw anything up in there. Let's get this, let's get this going back up in here again. All right, looks like they're, they're going to go right back to the position that they were just in here. Looks like Ben is securing a side control. And Ryan Stark on the bottom again. You know, that's an interesting feeling. I don't know if you've ever had that, uh, Bob, like w if, if you're sparring or something like that or where like a nosebleed happens. You, you kind of just know it's happening. Yeah, yeah. You, you, even if you don't see the blood yet, you kind of just feel like, ah, oh, something's leaking and it ain't snot coming out of my yes. nose. Yeah. Oh, very, very interesting. And you want to try to catch there. it before yeah. it starts dripping all over yeah, the floor. Yeah, you don't you know want that. Mean? That could ruin the next match. You know, they got to come out there with the mop. Let's, let's keep just sweat on that mat. And what an evenly matched bout we have here, man. Both of these guys, just super yeah. technical, both in great shape. Yeah, great scrambles, too. You see Ryan doing a really excellent job of keeping his, his limbs at a distance, and that keeps Ben at arm's length, at, at leg's length, so that he's never closing the distance. And you see they got, they've got some good banter in there. I kind of wish I knew what they were saying. It looks like they're probably saying some funny stuff. Uh, Ryan's saying some funny stuff. He's laughing. I like the butterfly hooks we have from Ryan Stark here. And Ben has really nice control over, over the wrist. And it looks like he's going to wedge to one side. But yeah, Ryan's doing a really excellent job of kind of getting getting his frames back in when he, when, he, when they get removed. Like even right now, he was they were passed. And he's, he's kind of even on his side to get him right back in place. I feel like Ben maybe w wanted to take a leg. But maybe I, I don't know why he decided to kind of let go of that there a moment ago. You see this again, Ryan Stark's leg on that thigh of Ben. Ben doing a really good job of passing, though, consistently during this match. We saw it multiple times, uh, and, and here it goes again, and that's the end of the match. That was a fun match.
This Back and match. forth, absolutely. Great matchup. Couldn't agree more. You get to see the results of the first brown belt match of the day. Yeah, I was saying earlier, Bob, uh, when you're on top for most of the match, it's, it's what the judges see, you know? Uh, and I think Ben was unless, probably more active. Unless, unless, right, unless you're getting submission attempts from the bottom, I agree. And I think, you know, he was...